Next, we are going to use this 320 by 240 IPS TFT LCD display with a 5 Beetle 2 ESP32 S3. It supports SPI4 wire communication mode and GDI port. It accepts a wide range of input voltages from 3.3 volt to 5 volt, which makes it compatible with multiple main controller boards like Arduino, Leonardo, ESP32, ESP8266, and so on. Use the GDI interface on the controller board, which could effectively reduce the wiring and if you plan to use it with the Arduino or any other controller board that doesn't come with a GDI interface then you can use these mail headers. Since the 5 Beetle 2 ESP32 S3 board already has a GDI port so I'm going to use the FPC cable. There is also an onboard micro SD card slot for storing and displaying images. So this module has the advantage of high resolution, wide weaving angle and simple wiring and can be used in many display applications, waveform monitor display, electronic gift box, sensors monitoring, electronic weather decorations and so on. Anyway, the LCD is connected and next we are going to add library in the Arduino IDE. So while your Arduino IDE is open, go to the sketch menu, then to include library and click on the add.zip library. Browse to the location and select this library. You can download this library from the article available on electronicclinic.com and click the open button. You can see I have already added this library. You can use this program to check your TFT LCD. Before you upload the program, make sure you select the correct version of the Fire Beetle board that is DF Robot Fire Beetle 2 ESP32 S3. And make sure these values on your side matches with mine. I already explained it in the LED blinking example. Finally, select the communication port and you can click on the upload button.